And now, it's time once again for DOA Pro Wrestling's Match of the Week. Starring your heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Cleaver. Sponsored by La Bistro Montage, located at 301 Southeast Morrison Street in Portland. That's 503-234-1324. Doctor, Dr. Cleaver versus the original sinner Jason Sullivan. With me on commentary, the sexiest Hawaiian I know, Cameron Starr. The only one. Here we go. This is for all the marbles, the DOA Heavyweight Championship. There are two very big boys in that ring right now. I don't know. I don't know who, how to call it. I don't know who my favorite pick is to win this, but who, G Shock, who do you think is going to walk out the DOA Heavyweight Champion tonight? I honestly can't tell you. All I do know is whoever doesn't walk out the DOA Heavyweight Champion goes home and doesn't come back. Well, loser leaves town match. Jason Sullivan and Dr. Cleaver. Some very uh, deep rooted, unresolved issues between these two. Dr. Cleaver have a part in his hair now? Looks like he might. <laughs> so he went from a mohawk to a business cash. Looks like that could be the case. The crowd here at DOA solidly behind. Jason Sullivan tie up. Sullivan's going to win the strength on this just because of pure size advantage. Well, see, then I don't, I don't agree with you. I don't necessarily think he can win the strength advantage. If he was the same size as Dr. Cleaver, I'd give it to Doc. Well. You can't base strength on size necessarily. Jason Sullivan is pretty strong, though, but we're going to see how this plays out. You ever see him bend a spoon at the buffet? Pretty intense. I've also seen him eat with a ladle. Collar and elbow tie-up. See, there it is. There's Doc's strength. And Cleaver just lowers the boom on Sullivan. Sullivan answers with a big chop to Dr. Cleaver. This is going to be a knockdown drag-out fight, I'm sure. Yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot of side headlock takeovers. No, I don't. I don't think we're going to see a spinning toe hold. Not at all. We will see uh, a set of Masawa chops, though. Jason Sullivan just bringing it to Dr. Cleaver. Making him think about it. Dr. Cleaver takes a knee in the corner. Sullivan capitalizing with a big headbutt. <laughs> Make it two. Oh, you can't hit Doc in the moneymaker. Two boots right to the kisser. On oh, Cleaver makes it three. And he's not exactly kicking him with that boot. He's just running it. He's kicking him, but running the boot all the way down Cleaver's face. Giving him maximum, uh, you know, footing on his face, I suppose. Cleaver into the corner. And Sullivan just stalking Cleaver and lowers that elbow right into his chops. Uh, looks like some more chops. Nope, big forearm. And that will leave a mark, especially when coming from Jason Sullivan. Sullivan telling the official what he thinks of him. Yeah, that's not a disqualification. 
No, uh, no technical fouls here in professional wrestling. Not as far as I know. And Dr. Cleaver with a big ax handle to that wide back of Jason Sullivan. And Sullivan able to shake it off, answer with a chop, a couple kidney shots. Well, yeah, the, the, the back and the stomach would not be where I would focus my attack on Sullivan. Absolutely not. Oh. Nice knee lift on Dr. Cleaver. Not, not enough to put him down. Well, he could have. The ropes got in the way. MJ Aurora showing her disdain for Jason Sullivan as she's in the corner of Dr. Cleaver on the outside. I don't know. Would you consider Dr. Cleaver a member of Mary Jane's posse? Hard, hard to say. Well, I mean, if you do, Mary Jane's posse is getting beat up right now. Nobody likes a beat up posse as Dr. Cleaver stares at the ceiling after that big clothesline. And Sullivan thought he was going up top. Setting up for sweet not. chin music? Oh. And that's about 400 pounds of elbow drop come down across the chest of Dr. Cleaver. Yeah, it's like somebody just threw a motorcycle and hit you with it. Going to take more than an elbow drop, even if it is from Jason Sullivan, to put away the DOA Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, Doc would definitely be upset if he lost this belt tonight, because he couldn't come back, and he'd only have held the belt for a month. Well, that could very well be the case. Jason Sullivan on the outside now stalking Dr. Cleaver. Oh, good backer, Rick. You know, I've known Dr. Cleaver a long, long time, and, and I know he doesn't like to do things in short bursts. It's all it's all night, all as long as he can go. All in, all or nothing, yep. as Dr. Cleaver eats the chair. And those aren't regular folding chairs. Those chairs are pretty solid. I'm not sure if Jason Sullivan got all of that one, but it was enough to rock Dr. Cleaver, at least for a moment. Sullivan rolls back in and breaks the count. Boot to the kidney of Cleaver. Well, this is definitely where Jason Sullivan has the advantage. You know, he's not confined with ropes and turnbuckles and all that other stuff. He can just use whatever as a weapon. Absolutely. Jason Sullivan in his full element outside of the ring, unrefined, unrestricted. And Jason Sullivan needs to be careful. He doesn't want to lose this on a count out or a disqualification. Five minutes of expiring this back. Sullivan going over the gimmick table. As far as I know, this is not a Falls Count Anywhere match. No, and the official needs to to administer uh -oh. a more consistent count. And Doc is in a pile over there, it looks like. And Sullivan asking for the approval of the fans. I'm not sure if that's a good idea against the likes of Dr. Cleaver. He'll beat you in a hurry if you make one mistake. Well, I guess Doc hasn't met the steps yet. Has now. Now the referee is administering a count. You're about a minute late, kid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He was asking someone in the crowd if they wanted to give Doc a chop. And it doesn't look like anybody took him up on the offer. Which I can't, I can't blame him. We're going to the snack and bar. It, Sullivan must be hungry. You know, at some point, they're going to want to get this back in the ring. That's where you got to beat your opponent. As far as I know, that, that is the rules. And referee J.R. Robinson just letting it all go. Oh, and apparently Ugly got to chop in. You know, that was kind of stupid. I was or using it, his catchphrase right there. I, I saw what you did there. Yeah. 
And finally, Jason Sullivan throwing Dr. Cleaver back in the ring. Maybe wasting a lot of time. Oh. Yep. And in the blink of an eye, that's how the tide can turn with a match of this magnitude. Cleaver kicking that bottom rope right into the groin area of Sullivan. That is going to ruin the rest of his Sunday. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Cleaver just stomping. Putting the boots to Jason Sullivan. You know, it, it doesn't need to be pretty. You don't need to, to beat him with a bunch of technical wrestling holds, whatever works, but he's only able to get a two on Sullivan. Yeah, as long as it's effective, who cares? Could be a close. No, no that's the Mafia kick. MJ Aurora shouting advice to Dr. Cleaver from the outside. Well, Doc's firmly in control right now. You know, Jason Sullivan made that one crucial mistake. Would you call it a mistake, getting in the ring? Well, he paid for it, and he's still paying for it now. When you're against the likes of Dr. Cleaver, the mistake may have been taking him to the outside. That's true. It could have been long before getting back in the ring. Doc could, could have been goading him the whole time. Yes. Doubt it, but it's possible. It is possible. And Jason Sullivan having a, a tough time getting back in the ring now. Might be afraid of getting the rope into the groin one more time. Not sure if the law of physics would allow him to roll in under the bottom rope, but we'll see how this plays out as Cleaver continue to put the boots. Well, I mean, object in motion tends to stay in motion. He might just roll through to the other side. Very true. I took physics. Oh, and MJ, she's over there consoling Doc. I think she's probably planning her, her the rest of her weekend with him. I think she's on loan from Pat. And Jason Sullivan letting Dr. Cleaver know how he feels about him. Raising that big middle finger. Oh, big kick to the chest. This match is so physical, the referee's pants, uh, I'm sorry, his shirt have come untucked. He's been working hard. Working hard, everybody getting worked up into a frenzy here. And the battle continues on the outside. And I mean, Jason Sullivan battling to try and get back in the ring. Let's see if Dr. Cleaver's gonna let him in the ring. Sullivan answers with a big right hand, making two shots right in the chops of Dr. Cleaver. And feeds him right into the turnbuckle. Enough to stagger Dr. Cleaver long enough to uh, for Jason Sullivan to get back in the ring. And Jason Sullivan just stalking his prey right now. Gonna be a... Oh, referee well. down. And Mary Jane Payne doing what she does well, best, stealing stuff. I don't know what's happened. The official got knocked out by the boot of Dr. Cleaver when he went up for the slam. And Jason Sullivan easily would have had a, a three count or a six or a nine count. Kind of looks that way. And I'm not sure what MJ's plan is. She took the heavyweight title belt. Maybe she's going to model it. Who knows? Whatever she's doing, I enjoy it. Oh, low blow. Well, the belt's in play, no official. Now the belt's in the front row. Good night. But still no official. Dr. Cleaver laid him out, laid out Jason Sullivan. Oh, here comes referee Timmy Reed. Well, here we have a second official administering the count. Oh! 
Jason kicked out. I can't believe that. Unbelievable. Two count even after the shot with a heavyweight title. And G-Shock, that had to be pure instinct that allowed Jason Sullivan to kick out of that after that heavyweight title shot. I'm sure Jason doesn't even know where he's at. Setting up for the proverbial 515. Oh! And there's two officials down. Sort of good thinking on Doc's part, but here comes Draven out. and Pat. Pat Large and Draven. Like a pack of hyenas from the back, taking it to Jason Sullivan. And MJ, I think, trying to revive. Oh, big splash. Wow. Pat going to the top. Sort of. MJ going to the back. Pat with a leg drop. And they make their exit. MJ with referee Buzz Anderson. Well, here's the third official coming out after that ambush by Draven and Pat. Buzz Anderson taking over control after the first two officials have been knocked out. That's got to be it. Oh! Sullivan kicked out one more time. And Draven and Pat didn't get the job done with that ambush. Is, there, any, is there anything else in MJ's posse that she can pull out? I am not sure how Jason Sullivan was able to kick out of that. He's got to be running on fumes. Both competitors giving it everything. MJ's entire posse is out here. She's letting her entire posse hang out as Jason Sullivan and Dr. Cleaver trade shots in the middle of the ring. Shades of Jerry Lawler and Austin Idol. A series of fierce headbutts. And Draven and Pat. And there's so much going on right now, I'm not even sure if Buzz Anderson is oh. going to be able to. Uh-oh. Well, that's what happens when tempers flare. Do we have any more officials? Nope, but we got a quiz. Well, and here an comes exile. quiz and exile. Quiz, looks like he's setting up. Oh, blackout. And you know Exile wants some. And Exile is getting set up. I'm not sure if Dr. Cleaver wants what's coming to him. Oh. Smart move. Jason Sullivan on oh, the. And here comes Dick Champagne. Well, we have the fourth and final official. And there it is.
I didn't really expect this result to happen when I issued the challenge on Friday night. Bottom line is, is I, I signed a contract and I, uh, I knew what could happen. I knew I could wind up leaving tonight. And I'm heartbroken right now. Go kick his ass! You deserve it! I'm ready to see a giant cry because I'm crushed. This is my home. Go Come on, you Jason! Jesus Christ, I got DOA stamped on my tattoo on my arm. Second. Yeah, give me a couple more seconds. Dr. Cleaver, you're a piece of shit in my book. I love each and every one of you guys out here. I'm going to be gone for a little while, it looks like. I wasn't planning on it. I like coming back here because this is where I'm from. And this is all my, my friends, my family, my girlfriend, my best friend in the show for getting here tonight. Uh, I tell you what, every night I go to sleep, I'm going to dream about coming back here to DOA. And every moment I'm awake, I'm going to think about coming back to DOA. And I will be back. Mark my words, I will be back. last year coming back in mass, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to honor this. I'm going to set my time out. And you're goddamn right, I'm going to be thinking how to get back home in DOA because I can't wait till my time's up. I love you guys, each and every one of you. The Moose Lodge, Terry, Tracy, Jesus Christ, Chris, the Honor Society, Ricky Gibson, Kevin Brett, Big Sweet, they love you. They love you. I love you. Because this is where my heart beats. D-O-A. D-O-A! D-O-A! D-O-A!